Cancer is the most deadliest disease among human beings. Millions of people die every year because of this disease. We are fighting with this disease for ages but still we are not been able to completely shut down this disease. Do you know why? The main reason why we can't completely shut down the cancer cells is that cancer cells are our own cells that get mutated through various means like smoking, chewing tobacco, adulterated diet, less physical activities and sometimes by the exposure to radiation. It becomes very difficult to kill specifically the cancer cell in our body because they are not the foreign bodies. They are the mutated version of our own cells. Cancer therapies are currently limited to surgery, chemo and radiation therapy. All three of them increase the risk to damage normal tissues along with tumor that cause serious side effects including organ damage which ultimately lowers the survival rate. To make the treatment cancer specific and more effective, scientists are now taking help from nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is a science that usually deals with a size range from a few nanometer to several hundred nanometer. Nanotechnology offers the means to target drug directly and selectively to cancerous cell. This reduces the risk to the patient and an increased possibility of survival. You might be thinking that how nanotechnology can help in cancer specific treatment. The answer lies in the size of nanoparticles. As tumor grows rapidly, a network of blood vessels expands quickly to fulfill the large amount of oxygen and nutrition supplied to the tumor site. This abnormal and poorly regulated vessels generation result in the formation of leaky vessel walls having large pore size. These leaky vessels allow nanoparticles to enter into tumor cells. While no such leaky vessel pores are available in normal cells, let's make it more clear, tumor tissues are loosely attached and having a large intercellular pores of nanometer size. This allows the passive localization of drug and drug carrier of nanometer size through this leaky vasculature. This phenomena is known as enhanced permeability and retention effect EPR effect. But as I told you earlier that there is no such nano size pores available in the healthy cells. So these nanoparticles can't get internalized into the healthy cells. Passive accumulation through EPR effect is the most acceptable drug delivery system for solid tumor treatment. But the size of the nanoparticle is not the only thing to cause the EPR effect. Other factors like surface charge and biocompatibility are also important for efficient passive tumor accumulation. One more advantage of using nanoparticles for cancer treatment is that nanoparticles are large enough to carry many small molecules compounds which can be of multiple types. By this means, we can damage cancer cells DNA, topoisomerase, electron transport chain, etc. all at the same time with just one particle. These properties of nanoparticles help in combining drug delivery and can make therapy and diagnosis possible at the same time with one particle. Lack of solubility is also the major problem in chemotherapeutic drugs. But nanoparticles can effectively solve the solubility problem. Hydrophobic drugs can be encapsulated in nanocarriers and can be transported to the desired area. If you want to know more about cancer cell treatment using nanotechnology, you can check the links in the description box. Also, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. If you are new to this channel, subscribe it now. See you in the next video.